Okay, let me show you this one. A lot of information I cannot, I don't have to share with you uh, about this fort. But like I'm saying, you need to come here. But one interesting thing, what will interest you to know is this. This is one of the fort that was a delight to um, Sajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So this fort used to be his hideout. And any time he came here, he would just come and park his car here. There is a well here that is well over 300 years old. It's, I think it's down here. This one. This fort was built in 1683. And of course, it was built in um, I, it's, uh, 341 years old, if you do the math. And it was built by the Germans, by Frederick Williams. There is a mystery about this fort that a lot of people do not know, of course. It is called Fort um, Groot Fredericksburg here in Ahanta West, Princess Town. And let me show them something here. This fort, you see the Germans, when they showed up here, they actually built four forts. They built the, this one, um, Groot here, and then they built the Dorothea at um, Aquida, and then they built Frankenstein in Volta region. But then they built another fort called Sophia. That is the mystery I want to talk to you about. The Fort Sophia, you see, the man had two wives. He had um, uh, this one, he built it for himself. The good Fredericksburg, he built it for himself. And then he built the Dorothea for the first wife. And then he built Sophia for the second wife. Right? But now, all this fort that he built, the mystery is this. You can, you can see the, the landmarks. You can see them. This one is here. If you go to Aquida, you will see the Dorothea there. But then, the Sophia is nowhere to be found. I mean, archaeologists cannot locate where the fort was built. And I want to go and show you inside, but let me finish this story. The mystery behind this fort is that a lot of it is believed that that fort has goodies buried in there. They cannot find whether the fort was built underground, but here, here, is, here is this. Some of the people um, of the uh, Cape Three Point area sometimes says that um, when they are walking around in the bush, they can actually come across um, what we call a goodie, like, like riches, well, riches, should I say riches, like gold. And they sometimes see it vis-a-vis -vis, like very visible in a, in in a, in in large number that you get to panic and then you start to question and something will tell you not to pick it so most of the times of course they always move back or go back to their house and then they go and think about it it's like i don't want to go back for this thing and then by the time they will get there they will not find even they will not be able to locate <laughs> where they saw the thing you see and when it happens to you like that, you will not be able to find a place again. And then sometimes it will happen to another person. So it keeps happening to people like that. And the people of Cape Three Point, those who live around that belt, will tell you that story. So Fort Sophia is a fort that we are looking for on the Cape Three Point belt. They can't find where it was built. And of course, the Germans have the landmark, you know, when they build, they put up a, a facility like this, they have it on the map. They can track everywhere that they built across the African continent. But this is one fort, and I, I'm pretty sure, I do believe that they know where it was built. But would they come back and come and show you where it was built? So um, I'm, I'm, I also do believe that Ghanaian archaeologists have really tried to um, find where the ruins of um, Sophia is, but to no avail. So this is, this is one force that I need you to come and visit. Over here, I wanted to find out, um, to meet up with the caretaker of this place, but it looks like I came very early. He's gone to church. So I can just hang around here and go back to where I am coming from. But let me take you inside and show you some. I want you to be here. 
of course, we are seeing the drone shot. A very beautiful place. I understand you can camp around here. You can come and do a picnic around here. And the fascinating thing is this. This is the only ancient place I have visited in this country that is well kept. Like so kept. Clean. And I was not expecting this. You know, people will tell you that Cape Coast, um, uh, the Cape Coast Castle. Of course, the Cape Coast Castle is nice, clean. It is because it is found in the heart of the city. But a facility like this, that is, look at, just look at the surrounding. How beautiful it is. Right? So you can, you can just show up here. And I understand this place used to be a church. Where um, the, the white guys used to be here. Here is where the church, the white guys will be here. And then the black guys will um, also be here. So there's a separation. This is the wall that separated them. Separated them. Yeah, so this, this spot you're looking at is actually a church. And I think there are other things we can look at uh, down here. I do not really know. Um, I don't know. the. If I'm to use my intuition, this place is obviously a dungeon where you can keep like 200, 300 people here. Look at how it was built. And then there is the ventilation. This is the only ventilation they have here. This is the ventilation. So they kept people here. And I really like how this place is maintained as compared to the rest of um, the forts that I have visited in the country. How do you see this place? I think this is a place that you should actually come and see. You should come and see here. Since I heard this story of Sophia, it has never departed from my, from my mind. I really would love to go and hike that place and see if God will bless me with something. Because, ah, Jesus. Some, some of you might think it is a myth, but it is not a myth. It is not a myth. They built, they built four. I mean, four. And you can trace the three. It is only the Sophia that we, they can't find where it is. Where I came from, from the uh, top there, that was the governor's place. And if they ever appointed anyone to um, take a certain role here, they also stayed up there. But then if you come down here, here used to be a storage um, facility. So when they, they collect the things that they want to collect for abroad, they will keep all of them here. And then they will send them to their king abroad. Yes. They will send them abroad, ship them, take them abroad. But I understand there is a, a point of no return here. I want to show you something up here. You know, this uh, part of the building you're looking up, come and see, up here. It was not originally part of the building, but then it was added by the Dutch. Yeah, in I think 17, around the 1700s, yeah, the, the Dutch added this one to it. And um, there is a well here that is well over 300 years old. It's, I think it's down here. This one. This one. It's over 300 years old. But it's been renovated, kind of. You see the inside, it's still functioning. They have water in it. Mm. One beautiful thing about this place is the, is the view you get to see here. This is, the, this is the town of Princess Town. That's Princess Town over here. You get to see this beautiful view here. And then when you come all the way here, you see the ocean here. The ocean is here. The ocean is, come and see the ocean, very beautiful. You can see through this vegetation and then you see the ocean from here. And the breeze here is really, really refreshing. Groot Fredericksburg, the fort. I want you to be here, like seriously. Okay, let me show you this one. A lot of information I cannot, I don't have to share with you uh, about this fort. But like I'm saying, you need to come here. But one interesting thing, what will interest you to know is this. This is one of the forts that was a delight to 
um, Saji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So this fort used to be his hideout. And any time he came here, he would just come and park his car here. And then he would just go inside there and go and just meditate and all that. So Nkrumah has slept in this fort before. And um, this one was used to be a story because it was also for the German uh, uh, mil uh, uh, the, the soldiers and all that. They used to take care of, I mean, guard and all that. So, but I want to show you something here. I think the gate of no return where they ship people from here, the dungeons, and then just when you hit the sea, you are no more a Ghanaian. <laughs> you are gone. <laughs> Come and see. Let me tell you something about this place. Uh, this place used to be walled, and you will not believe what happened here. Of course, I, I will not tell you this. I need you to come and come and listen to it yourself. I'm, I, I, like, seriously, I will not tell you. But all these foundations that are here, they were, they, oh, Jesus, Africa. I need you to come. When you come here, I'm hoping that you will come and meet the, the tour guard, the caretaker of this place, and then he will tell you. Because, <clears throat> And, of course, I will also um, ask of the community. I'm pretty sure they will get me his number. I'll put it on the video. Any number that you can call, then you come here. But the story they told me about this particular place. Don't go there. And ah, see the beauty. See the beauty. This is the place. See the beauty. You see the rocks down there? Look. So here is where they would walk the slaves. The path used to be in front of the gate, but it's windy, we cannot pass there. So they walk you down there, and then you, they bring a ship to you. The ship will be here waiting for you. And then, but, so just imagine if you came here for vacation, weekend, something, and then you are introduced to such a scene. See the rocks down there. You are introduced to such a place. Just imagine. So all these things are here in Western region. They are here in a hunter land. But nobody is talking about it. Nobody is talking about it. There are some forts. When you visit, you will see some people standing there. They are like, I said, I want to talk about this. But I want to show people to come here. They're like, where's your money? I said, no. I'm... But you see, this, this place needs to be promoted. It needs to be promoted on weekends. On weekends, people want to go somewhere. They don't want to go to Lassa away again. They don't want to go to Alam Beach again. They just want to drive somewhere, but they don't know where to go. But look, look at all this place. And then I bring my camping tent here and I come and set up here. And I do my cooking. I do small barbecue. And after I drive back to Takrade, that's it. That's the life we're talking about. But they will never talk about this. And then we keep going down there. I want to go to the rocks. Such a, such a beauty, nature. So you see how spacious this place is. See, and the breeze, the breeze. Very, very, very beautiful. Very, very authentic. We go this way. I want to show you something here. I want to show you something here and then it will take you all the way to uh, come in. ah beauty <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> ah Ghana my Ghana come come and see ah! <laughs> so you see <laughs> Let me blow your mind with this. The whole world, huh? <laughs> they never told you about this rule. The whole world, the closest, the fresh closest waterfall to the sea is found here, is found here in a hunter land. And it is between Aketechi and Cape Three Point, right? The whole world, the fresh uh, waterfall closer to the sea. Here is where you find it, all the way down there. But we have all of these things in Ghana, in Ghana, in Africa, in Western region. But 
Nobody is talking about it. <laughs> Nobody is talking about it. So the shooting, the shooting scenes. Look, look at this one. Look, 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 look. Sometimes they can shoot and go up like that, like like that. Like that. But this is Ghana. God bless our homeland, Ghana. And make our nation great and strong. Go to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our heart with true human. Let him make us cherish fearless honesty and help us to raise and suppress us through with all our will. And might for ever more.